Welcome back to So Bad It's Good, presented by Betches Media. I have spent my summer with these people. 36 episodes. I could watch 36 more. I, uh, I'm i really sad it's over. And we get to speak to a couple. They took fourth place, but they are much higher in all of our hearts. And I can't wait to talk to both of them from Love Island, USA. Kendall and Nicole, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. How's Thanks it going? Thanks so much for having us. Thank you. Um, how, I mean, guys, how is it being on the outside? You've been protected from the villa, like in the villa, and now you have your phones back. It's got to be an insane experience. How are you handling all of this? I mean, we literally just got our phones back last night, like pretty late. I feel like I haven't even really scratched the surface of coming back into the real world, like still on villa time. Um, I think it's bittersweet for me, though. I'm not going to mm -hmm. lie. Like, I think it's going to take some adjusting, too. The villa really does become, like, the norm and just real life for us. And, yeah, it's wild. It is very wild um, to adjust already because it, we're still in Fiji right now, so it doesn't feel real, real yet. <laughs> yeah. But the fact that we got our phones back just for a short amount of time, there's just been so much to so catch much. up on. And the fact that the show was so big, uh, I really don't think any of us in the villa were expecting this um, kind of like support from everyone. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been a whirlwind already, um, <laughs> but a lot to digest. <laughs> I'd say. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, there's, <laughs> I mean, there's tons of digestion. Like at some time, like I wish, I mean, like I even wish I was back in the villa and I didn't have to do with anything that you guys have to deal with. You are the number one show on cable right now. You, I mean, you really are insanely popular. Everybody loves Love Island USA. Um, but what was it like for both of you, just your experience in this from start to finish? Uh, Kindle, you were OG. Nicole, you were a bombshell. Could you ever have imagined that you would find each other in the villa? No, <laughs> no. no. I feel like I, I think we all go into Love Island, like kind of hoping for the same thing that you're going to find someone, but hoping and it actually happening is like two different things. And I think especially coming in as a bombshell, I was nervous. Like I didn't know what to expect. You know, I kind of got to see a few episodes before going in and it's just like, I didn't think my experience was going to pan out the way it did. And I'm so grateful for Kendall. I'm so grateful for all the other friendships we made. We really became like this family within the villa. Um, and I'm going to miss it so much. It honestly makes me emotional. Like just thinking about how wild it was. It's like, we're just in the summer house, like having the best summer of our lives together. And I think there was a lot of drama and a lot of ups and downs for everybody, but kind of coming together as a family and just getting through those hard times. It was amazing. It was amazing. Uh, I second what Nicole says because it was the best summer of my life and I did not have any expectations. I was I trying to just not get my hopes up, I'd say, yeah. getting into yeah. it to say, I was like, yeah, can I find someone? Yeah. Like, that'd be great. Fingers but I mean, crossed. like fingers crossed, like there's just no way. Um, but the fact that I did find a call in here was just the biggest blessing of my life. So like the fact that this experience has given me Nicole is just, I, I still have to just pinch myself sometimes because like, I'm so blessed to have her and I'm so glad that this experience brought us together. Well, if I can get you guys to cry during this interview, that would be amazing. I, I, I need to get you guys to cry. That would be uh, amazing. <laughs> Um, uh, Kendall, you are kind of like the cheerleader of the group. You were the one that seemed to have the most positive energy. You were always hyping everybody up. Is this how you are in your actual life? Are you always the cheerleader? hundred percent. I mean, cheerleader is a crazy term, but I'd say hype man. For hype sure. man. Yes. Hype man. Because I hype man, because I don't know, it's just kind of how I am. Like I've always had this high energy consistently and I love seeing my people happy. So I oh, think- Oh wait, pause, sorry, one second. Oh, all good, all good, we can edit this out, yeah. Let's make sure this doesn't uh, drop out. Okay. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, all good. Yeah. Her face, all right. Where's the plug? There should be one by the phone, no? Cool, yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> I think it already, I don't know. Can you plug it in by the phone? Um, plug it in. Let's, let's do that though. 
I think it's fine. Hell yeah, we're lo- yeah. Oh, well, it's, yeah. a, it's it's like yeah. watching you guys work together as a team. This is uh this is amazing. I know we're like trying to charge a laptop. I swear you like forget about this like phones and electronics. I like didn't even know how to work my iPhone coming out of here. I got it. Must be so like, nice not. after a while um, not to have your phone. Okay. Yes, hundred percent. Okay. Um, um, but we were talking no, about you being a hype man. Hi- yeah, we we're talking about you being a hype man. <laughs> and if that's how you are in your everyday life, because you seem like you really genuinely care about everybody and want everybody to have a good experience. 100%. Um, I am for sure a hype man, just in general. Uh, all my friends back home will testify to that. Like no matter if we're just out or if I'm with family, I just want everyone to have that high energy and a good time. And I feel like I just carry that into the villa, um, hyping up the girls, hyping up the guys, sometimes hyping up the Costa girls and the Costa guys too much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, By the way, Kendall, <laughs> you really you really got in trouble for hyping up the uh, the guys in Casa. Like, I just talked to Miguel, and Miguel was like, dude, I, I hyped up the guys too. And I was like, well, we only really saw Kendall hype them up. But I was like, right. wow. But y- you're good like that. Yeah, I mean, it's blessing and a curse, I'd say. Uh, but I'm... Looking back at it, I'm actually not glad it happened, but it made me realize – no, not not glad it happened. It made me realize, like, Kendall, you have to adjust in certain situations. You have to think before you speak. And, like, being a hype man in certain situations, <laughs> like, you just can't do it all the time. I, there's a time and a place. and I think there's I, levels to it. There's levels to I it. I think when you're so close with the girls, that's what really yeah, hurt them. Yeah, 100%. And that's yeah. why, like – I apologize to Kayla and Serena because I know I hurt them the most. Uh, Janae and Leah took it the less slightly because they they kind of know who I am when it comes to like the hype and how I can get over exaggerated too much. Uh, but that's why like I really regret how I acted in Casa because like I should have been more like I'd say I said I think I said it during the season like I had more of a backbone to like think of the girls more back home instead of getting entrenched into the Casa experience and letting that get the best of me and not putting my morals ahead of everything else. And I feel like that's what hurt the girls the most because of how much I do care about them. And they saw me in a different light, um, seeing as if I was saying one thing to them and a a different thing to the other. Um, So I feel like that experience is for sure changed me for the better. Um, but overall, yes, I am a hype man. Like I'm very energetic. Um, I he's, wear my heart on my sleeve. He's golden here. retriever, and I'm black cat for sure. Yeah, that's the that's <laughs> for sure. This man has more energy than anyone I've seen. Like he's always singing. I'm like, I don't know where you get it from. Love it, but like, no, it was it was it was great to watch all summer. Um, <laughs> I mean, speaking speaking of that, though, we got to see your relationship a little tested in the beginning, and I really felt for Kendall because it was obvious that he really liked you, and Nicole was really kind of making her mind up between Miguel and you, and I mean, you kind of had to like sit there and just kind of wait it out, and I was like, oh, dude, and I got to tell you, Nicole, I was really scared, no offense to Miguel, I was scared you were going to choose Miguel, but then you came back strong, and you really we saw like started really really liking him and that made my heart feel good but what was that experience like for you Kindle, to have to sit there and kind of wait it out and there were a couple of moments where we really saw not panic but we saw you really getting nervous about it what was that like um damn looking back at that love triangle uh was painful i'd say i mean because like i, I just like never met anyone like Nicole before. And like, especially earlier on getting to know her, like the similarities we had, like it, how we would geek out on little things like stores and like super monkey ball, little things that I've never really connected with a girl about. And the fact that like, she's such a tough shell and she puts me on my toes. I hundred percent, no girl has ever put me on my toes like Nicole does. And I, I'm so used to a different type of girl and the way she treated me was just so unique and I feel like I was for sure panicking because I was like, I don't want to lose that. So like I was just trying to be patient during that and give her her space. 
Um, but I'm not going to sit here and lie to you to say that it was enjoyable uh, <laughs> because <laughs> I had to see, because I would have these great conversations. I think the worst part was I'd have these great conversations so deep and fun with Nicole and moments after <laughs> it's like Miguel would pull her for a chat and I oh. have to watch that. And oh, I, like, I, and, and Miguel's all like tatted up. He's like a bad boy <laughs> kind of, you know, like, and I was like, oh my God, because Kendall, you were kind of like the perfect all around dude, but sometimes nice guys will finish last. And I was like really nervous for you. And then that was when I was like, Nicole was like, oh, I think Nicole's fully in. I got really excited for you. But now we watched the finale and the lead up to the finale. And I hate to ask about this, but you, you dropped the L word. I'm even scared to say it now. And <laughs> then Nicole, you didn't see this yet, but he went back to the guys. He was like, yeah, I dropped the L word. She didn't say it back. And I was like, oh no, oh no. But then in the f the final, when you read the letters, you did say that. Nicole, how wild was that to have somebody in this crazy experiment say that to you near the end? What was that like? I think... I think for me, when it happened, I was just really caught off guard. Like, I wasn't expecting Kendall to say it. Um, and I'm not going to lie. I think I just have some trust issues. Like, I, you know, I've been through some things, and Kendall knows what that is. And just, it scared me when he said it. Um, but I also came to Love Island to try something new and to be vulnerable and to just, like, give love a chance, as corny as that sounds. And I feel like, I didn't want to leave the experience like knowing how I felt and not saying it to Kendall. And I mean, the speeches were times for us to really truly express how we feel and not hold back. And it's the first time I ever did that. And I can say being vulnerable, at least right now, doesn't suck. Like I'm loving it. Um, I'm so scared. It's scary, right? Like you open yeah. up to someone, but I think you don't like reap the benefits of love unless you can fully like open, open them, wait, embrace them with open arms. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, it was a lot though, like a lot of, I don't think I've like felt that many emotions like in so long. 100%. I cried a lot. I don't usually cry. I'm telling you the villa does weird things to you. Mm -hmm. Like they really know what they're doing. I mean, that's what it's going to be wild for you guys to sleep in your actual beds eventually <laughs> and like see each other in the outside world. And you guys don't even know you're going to be walking the streets in like the U S and people are going to recognize you. And I just wonder how wild that's going to be for you because you've just spent this blissful summer just arguing and falling in love and eating avocado toast, you know, dude, I don't. I think I'm a little naive. I don't think I like just truly can't imagine that that people like. Oh, I get like ready! Just, I'm, get ready! Get. I mean, like honestly, you guys are the biggest show out there right now, and I think it's going to happen pretty much immediately when you get back. So I'm I'm really excited for you guys because you have so much opportunity uh, ahead of you. You know, um, uh, enough of kissing your ass. Uh, I have to say though, did okay. you guys, you guys especially, you knew all the Love Island lingo. You, I watched Love Island UK, and you guys especially knew all the Love Island UK lingo. Did you study Love Island going into this? Because you were saying British slang the entirety of the series. So you know what's so funny? I'm like, I love UK Love Island. I've always liked the accents and like watching it. I think my friend like first introduced me to the show like two years ago. And that's kind of where I learned the UK slang. Um, but you, how do you know the UK slang? Yeah, how do you know? That with his... So so buzzing is that's the word I said all the way back in high school with my boys. So, so I've always said like, I always, we always say the boys are buzzing. The boys are buzzing. <laughs> and so I didn't even know that was a UK term. Um, but I for sure watched some of the love Island UKs in the past, like me and my best friend, Chad back home when like we would get bored, we'd kind of turn them on as background sound back in the day. But I, I don't even notice them saying it because I just thought it was just like a, a common term buzzing because like yeah. I, oh, I love to say it. The boys are buzzing. We're buzzing. So that's funny how I, someone brought that up to me. So I was like, funny. damn, I didn't even know that was a UK term. I will say too, Kendall, especially when I was watching you, uh, you were hosting one of the challenges. I was like, Kendall, you would make a really good host. Like you really got into your hosting where I was like, this guy is really good at the kind of like, I'm trying to I'm trying to remember which challenge it was, but I was like, oh, wow, you're particularly good at this. So I hope you actually uh, potentially get that as an opportunity down the line to get to some of your castmates. Um, you know, Rob, I always say Rob is an enigma. Like I, I always say, I like, this guy's a mystery. Like what, who is Rob? Because I feel like 
I still don't fully know who Rob is. Who is Rob to you guys? Okay, let me, I know you're going to have a better answer. I think I don't really know. I think the, the most I talked to Rob at first was because of Andrea. And, like, him and Andrea just got on. I think she, like, cracked the mystery of Rob. Um, me and Rob, though, I feel like I didn't really speak too many words to him at first. And then it would be like, hey, do you want a toasty? And, like, yeah. But... <laughs> And, like, he's just very – I feel like Rob is the kind of guy who, like, if he doesn't have anything to say, he's not going to speak. You know, like, mm -hmm. he doesn't always have to be the loudest one. But you know him better than I do. Yeah. What do you think? I love Rob. <laughs> um, like, Rob and I's relationship was very unique because we couldn't be more opposite. Like, yeah. we would always say to each other, hey, That's I've so never funny. met anyone like you. And he would say the same. I've never met anyone like you either because he's very <laughs> much more, like – I wouldn't say timid, but not as just out there with his feelings yeah. or emotions. He's pretty much just keeps that close. But when you really get to know him, he opens up. Yeah. So, like, when I really got to know Rob and got close with him later on, like, he is one of the funniest dudes I've ever met. I was just going like, to say, he's really funny. Like, at first, I didn't get a sense of humor. Like, I thought I had dry humor. Like, my God. But no. he is hilarious when you, like, start – when he starts opening up and like cracking his jokes. Yeah, yeah, I love Rob's jokes. He always he always has a list of jokes to just say on the fly too. He's so good at anything. Like any good game we would play, great with words, like he would always crush. So I feel like him and I's relationship was so unique because we kind of just bounced off each other and uh, we just were complete opposites. And I think that's what made us so close from the first start because we walked in together. Yeah. Uh, and every I mean, it didn't, but it didn't seem like you... It, did, it seemed like you got along with everybody. Like, it, it seemed like, I mean, and, and you got along with everybody, Kendall. And Nicole, I was wondering about you in terms of there was already this really strong girl group that had already formed before you. What was that like to try to ingratiate yourself with this girl group that was already formed? I think, I think it was especially hard after Andrea left just because I came in with her and she was kind of like my safe zone maybe, but I think, I don't know if I just got lucky, but the girls were, they welcomed me with open arms for like the situation coming in and knowing like I'm going to take one of their men. Like, I don't know. I think I just tried to be myself and tried to just like be understanding of how the girls were always feeling. And we ended up like creating a bond. I feel like they kind of took me in and accepted me and I'm just really grateful for it, you know, because I think it could have gone like a completely different way. And all yeah. the girls made experience like, what it is tenfold. Like there were so many things that added to it, but I'm really appreciative for them. Um, I, uh, I spoke to Andrea when she left the villa and that was one of my favorite nights of television in the last like six months was that <laughs> night when she left because it was insane. You had just... Rob trying to leave. You had Aaron consoling Rob. It was insane. What was that like to watch firsthand? Cause it went off. It was like, so is it that, I think looking back, cause I didn't realize why I was so upset because I didn't want to seem ungrateful for the girl saving me, right? Like, obviously, I wanted to be there. I wanted to keep pursuing things. But it's really hard because I didn't think Andrea deserved to go home. Um, and I think, I'm sorry, I got to say this. Like, I think Rob standing up behind her right away and saying, like, he's going home got her hopes up. Yeah. I kind of wish he'd do that, even though he has a right to be there just as much as anyone else. I think that was why I was really upset and like I felt for her because if I was in her shoes, I would have been pissed. You know what I mean? Um, that was a crazy night though, looking back. Well, so Nicole, have you, uh, Nicole, have you spoke to Andrea since you got your phone back? I literally got my phone back last night and I went and I saw all my DMs and I saw Andrea's name and she was the first person I, I said hi to and said I missed her. I'm going to call her as soon as I can. Uh, I love him. Kendall. I what was that like for you to watch that uh, that experience? And would you recommend that Andrea and Rob hang out now that the uh, the experiment is over? Uh, the experiment. A so to answer your first question, like that night was the cr one of the craziest nights. It was huh? that night sucked because that's the same night Nicole said that she kissed Miguel on the dock. Oh, How dare uh, you, Nicole? How dare you? No, can I nothing. Just, I, no. I just <laughs> I told Kendall I would always be honest with him and I was planning on telling him we didn't know that that was going to happen so I'm like oh no I have to be honest with Kendall after we like both almost got sent home so sorry so no that, that she was she's I mean that's one of the reasons yeah. why 
Nicole and I are still here because of her honesty. Um, so that night was just a lot to take in because a I was on the chopping block too. Uh, out miles, I was seeing wow, this could be it for me. And at the same time, I'm wondering if they do save me, if they send home Nicole, where do I go from there? Because mm -hmm. I was just having so many thoughts in my head that I finally like found something that I could see turn into something. And the fact yeah. that she could be away from me in that, in that moment was like so gutting to think about. I remember my head spinning, waiting to see what was going to happen. Um, and being so grateful for the girls. I thank them so much for letting them keep Nicole. Um, I, I knew Andrea a little bit, but not really. I just kind of knew her through Rob's eyes. And um, Rob, like, oh my gosh, like I've never seen him like that with anyone. So 100% support Rob and Andrea getting together here. I, I talked to him about it a bunch of times uh, while we're in the villa, uh, if that's what something he wanted to do. And he would tell me that, yes, like he does have interest in getting to know her. I don't know how he feels now, um, but. Uh, I wonder yeah, I, I wonder if he get the reunion. Yeah. I feel like the reunion is going to be well, a that, that, while. I mean, yeah, August 19th is a reunion. I'm so excited that this is happening. But do you have questions? Like, I'm looking for this to be answered, not for yourselves, but for the experience and the other people that you experience this with. What are you hoping to find out at the reunion? And I know you're just like days out of this, so you haven't processed. But are there any burning questions right now that you guys have? I want I want to ask I need I want to know how Andre is feeling about it all because I just like and Rob and seeing if there is anything there because mm -hmm. I've been hearing too like there's some people out there who are very like team Rob and Leah you know oh yeah that's Even a huge narrative you guys everybody wanted to see Rob and Leah get back together and I was like you guys you're just you're toxic the that's yes oh, they, like, they, they, yeah, like in the villa in the villa no. they still wanted they want it right now as we speak they still want Leah and Rob together I just talked to Miguel and I talked to him. He said, listen, I'm the one that has her. And, uh, but yeah, that, that, that was, I swear to God, that narrative, like people still wanted to see that. And when Rob left, they pulled each other for Rob pulled Leah for a chat and it was a yeah. very sweet moment, but it was, but, you know, basically just saying we'll be friends forever. And I really like you, but people were really shipping them. You know, and I, I can see that because I feel like I saw it before I came on. Like they had such a strong connection mm -hmm. before Andrea came in. I also didn't know how much Leah was hurting when Andrea came in. Leah like held herself really well from what I saw. So to know how heartbroken she was over Rob, I'm sure that plays a part in it too. But I don't know. I think we saw how Leah and Miguel were like towards the end. And yeah. I don't think, so, I don't want to speculate yeah, guys. Yeah. No, like, no, no, no. Solid. Yeah, I don't want to <laughs> no, speculate. No. Yeah, you guys got to see it in the, the real level. We got to see an edited kind of, uh, you know, uh, version of the show and also i just think people love to see mess so they were hoping that that was going to happen at the very end um it was cool though to see i think movie night kind of brought rob and leah back together like they don't i don't think they ever really squashed the beef that like went down especially with andrea and like towards the end they did become friends again which was nice like that hostility kind of died off yep. and i think they were both happy just being like really good friends like i think they both care about each other a lot so that's yeah. wild though um, Nicole, the internet can be a horrible place and they freeze frame every little piece of your, like the show. And when you guys got announced in the final four, you were actually chosen to, to go in. And then they had chosen like Janae, I believe. And people say you made a face that you made a face that you did not seem happy. Uh, was there anything going through your mind? Cause I just think that was like a stupid camera move that really didn't, was there Fuck. anything there? Like for like in thinking I wasn't happy for Janae. You yeah, it just seemed like, oh, like I I didn't necessarily understand why that happened. Uh I saw this a couple of times online and I just I didn't really think anything of it when I saw it, but people no. want to make mess out of little moments. Yeah, let me clear that up. Janae is like literally one of my best friends in there. And I've been a Janae and Kenny fan since they've gotten together. Like Janae went through it and I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy for Kenny. I think they deserve it a hundred percent. I'm trying to think what the face could have been y'all. Like, I'm just telling you, I mean, I honestly, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. I had like insane bug bites, like on my ass cheek and I was in a lot of pain. <laughs> for, like, the majority. Like, I'm just going to say it's not an excuse. It was what, like the last like week or two, like yep. even when we did kayaking, I had them, like a sand flea, like really went in on me. So I think there's just a lot of like facial expressions and I think they can get portrayed a certain way. 
but I'm just going to say this. No hate. I fucking love Kane team. I mean, I'm allowed to be team Kane too, right? Yes. Like I love them so much. I'm so happy for them. No hate there whatsoever. That's my girl. Okay, good, good. Um, uh, also, I just want to let Kendall know you were voted the number one snorer in the villa. <laughs> they, they said you snored up a storm, but that Nicole wore earplugs, so she potentially didn't hear it. Every night I wore earplugs. This guy, and I also like at first, he's like, I have a snooze button. Like, if you just press him, he'll stop. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to wake you up. And now I'm like, please. <laughs> Uh, she has no um, like remorse for that. And at first she was like, oh, I don't want to do that. And now it's just easy for her You to do. snore but like I, really bad. That is my biggest insecurity is my snoring. <laughs> so I remember my first night in the villa, like looking around saying, there's just no way I'm going to snore tonight that everyone's going to hate me. So I legit didn't. I think I slept for like 30 minutes. Oh, I just slept kind of just oh my, my God. Face and was just like, all right, I'm just not going to be sleeping because I can't wake anyone up. And I was cranky the next morning because I got 30 minutes to sleep because I was just like sleeping on my face like this. I never sleep like that. I usually sleep on my back or my side. But if I'm on my back, that's when the snoring is like <laughs> creating sound something. waves. We need to do something about your snoring. Oh, like, well, okay. So uh, as we wind down here, speaking about doing something about your snoring, what does the real world look for you guys? Like, how do we keep this relationship going? Like, we, you know, and, and we want to make sure... Like, I was also wondering if you were, like, any predictions on, like, August 19th. That's a couple of weeks from now. Will all the couples still be together? Will Kaylor and Aaron still be together? What do you guys think? And what's next for you guys as a couple? Ryan, great point. I haven't even thought about that. I hope all, everyone's together. So, I just love love. But I, oh, that's crazy. I don't, I just, I honestly can't see anyone not being together. A, but you don't, I think, I think that's easy for us to say. We literally just got our phones back. I think we're going to like, yeah. right. We see the villa from being in it. Like y'all are seeing a lot of things that we're not. Yeah. I think anything can happen. I think at least for us though, I'm really excited just to get on the outside and like do all the things we've talked about in the villa. Mm -hmm. I think just like being patient with ourselves, kind of being thrown back into this and like all the opinions, like I think there's going to be a lot. Mm -hmm. So 100%. just take it day yeah. by day. But I'm excited. I am excited to go to Dallas. I hope I get to do that before the reunion. But yes, we'll that, see. I'm looking forward to that the most uh, and meeting her family and her being mine. So. God, I mean, there's so many firsts that you guys still have yet to come, which is exciting that I wish a camera was still following you guys around. Would you ever uh, consider doing a reality show again either separately or together i think this i think love island was already a little hard for me love island to me doesn't feel too reality like because they really just let us go in there and be ourselves um i think the only thing i could see myself doing is if it was all with all the islanders yeah. like the family we've built i would love to like somehow like just make a reunion like and just live in a house with all of them again because i love them all so much um 100 percent agree it wasn't easy though i'm not gonna lie like you go through ups and downs in there so yeah i agree i, I don't know if i could do I, the I, other one like this was a lot y'all uh like being open like this something i've never been in my life but i'm so glad i was uh because it brought me closer to nicole and uh the fact of like doing this whole experience again or something different I, I'm going to need some time. I just want to get back to my family and friends. Like thinking yeah. about like running it back at this moment of time. Like I can't even imagine. Yeah. Um, we got the reunion though. I'm yes, excited for that. I'm but, excited to well, see everybody. And you guys genuinely, like, it seems like everybody genuinely did get along. I mean, there was drama between couples and Casa, which we obviously all saw, but it seems like for the most part, you guys all have amazing things to say about each other and the experience. Yeah. yeah, I think we all really grew close and I felt, I just feel really grateful. I think coming in as like a newbie and kind of just like being embraced with open arms was just the best feeling. I know there was like, even the little like fights we would have like between the girls, like we just fought like sisters and I feel like got over them and all supported each other at the end of the day. Like it, there's some tough times in there and if you don't have the support, I think it can feel very lonely. So 100%. I'm happy that we all stayed really close. Yeah, I'm happy too. You know, I'm still boggled that you, the sticker twist, you, you, uh, you didn't say like, I'm still boggled by that because I was like, God, he, she Thank actually you. stayed <laughs> and like, I was so boggled by that, but it still worked Dang. out. I, <laughs> I, I, I was.
Like, I, it's because he doesn't listen and he doesn't listen to the in, the rules of the game. No, I'm like, kidding. I was so I was just I don't know. I was uh-huh. just like, hey, we're still open. Um, like I. Guys, it was a lot. He, I, I, he explained his reasoning to me, and I just told him, like, I'll believe you until you give me a reason not to. And I think since then, he's really stuck by me. Mm-hmm. That was literally, like, the shittiest feeling, though. I was so embarrassed. I think yeah. at one point, I was like, there was that wall, and I was like, you know, they told us to make our decision. I'm, like, kissing the wall. I'm like, Ooh, I know he's going to be there, and you're probably just over there standing, like, oh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Same. I do not. I would, I'm just going to get mad at you. I was so in shock, because I was, like, I was like, hey, we're both open. Like, there's just no way. Like, I know she was still getting to know Miguel on that level. So I was just like, and I didn't know. She, every time I would ask her, hey, what do you think about Miguel and I? She would just be like, like both of you guys. It's just like, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, all I heard. So like, that's why I was like, there's no way she's sticking. Like, there's well, no way. Uh, two last things. Speaking of sick or twist, uh, Cordell was actually the saddest moment of that night. How we saw it on television was that Cordell was left with his empty champagne glass on the deck looking out over uh, the, the villa. And it was very, very sad. And, you know, Serena and Cordell, they won it. They took the whole thing. Why do you think America responded to their love story? Because we really saw the ups and downs. And at one point, I didn't even think Serena liked Cordell, didn't realize she was protect- protecting her heart. So I'll say this, because when I came in, like, Serena just told me, like, you know, me and Cordell are kind of friends right now. I kind of told him, like, I want to be friends. And I think, I don't know, we've heard, like, maybe there's been some hate around her doing that. But I will say, like, I can say with the hand to my heart, Serena is the most honest person in there. I think she, like, felt her feelings, didn't try to just play the game. She really was, like, you know, honest with herself. And I think she's a slow burner. And when you're in Love Island and everything's moving really fast, she stayed true to herself. Mm -hmm. And I think like all those little moments that they got over made their story what it was and made them stronger, just like times a hundred. I think that's why. 100%. I don't know if you agree. No, I, I agree with that. Um, I've Cordell's my best friend in there. And uh, I, was sad, I really, yeah, I was, I was feeling for him. Uh, yeah. And since the jump, we've just wanted the best for each other in there and we've been so close. And that's why you can see how passionate I am when I speak to Cordell, because like, yeah. I love that. Guy and um, all I want is the best for him. So when he was going through that with Serena, it just it was so hurting to watch because mm-hmm. I just wanted him to be happy and uh, he wanted it so bad with Serena. But at the same time, it didn't seem like it was reciprocated to start. But I'm just proud that he stuck with his guns and mm-hmm. like really like he really did like fall for Serena. So mm-hmm. the fact that even through that he still stuck with it after Casa and everything that went through that they went through during that experience really showed that Serena does care about Cordell and yeah. like, she just more of a slower burner than he is. Yeah. Um, but they still ended up together and that's why I couldn't be more excited for them moving forward. And then finally, what's the, uh, what's the thing that you like about your partner the most right now? What's the one thing that sticks out about each other? I mean, I, first thing that comes to my mind is how mature she is. Like, she's the, probably the most mature woman I've ever met. Thank and you. She is, like, I don't get, I never got that. Like she, I got mature a lot in there. I'm yeah. like, how? It's, it's just because she's so honest and uh, like she's been through so much. So that's why I respect her so much. And that's why, like, the words, I hang on every word she does say because I know it comes actually from her heart. And that's why, like, I fell so in love with Nicole. And that's why I couldn't be more happy to to go on the outside with her cute um, i'm gonna say i feel like the thing i love most about kendall especially like since coming out he's like remained the same as in regards to like his energy and like he just has this like love for life and he's like so contagious to be around like you're really such a light and i'm really grateful to have that i think adjusting is going to be hard for everyone Mm -hmm. so i'm lucky i have kendall to kind of lean on through it yeah. I mean, guys, yeah. Lean on each other. Keep your heads in this thing. You guys are really loved. So remember that uh, because everybody has been watching this show and falling in love with everybody on it. So I want to thank you guys because you gave my summer kind of a little, I, I loved watching this show and uh, I'm really excited for the reunion and hopefully you guys will come back someday. Um, but you guys, Kendall and Nicole, August 19th, Peacock, the reunion. And uh, I wish you guys all the best. Congratulations. Yo! Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.